Hi friends, today we will discuss ultrasound guided gluteal crease sciatic nerve block. There are five techniques to block sciatic nerve. There could be others but we will discuss five and today I will discuss gluteal crease sciatic nerve block. The five techniques are parasacral sciatic nerve block, transgluteal sciatic nerve block, gluteal crease sciatic nerve block, popliteal sciatic nerve block, anterior sciatic nerve block. In this presentation we will discuss gluteal crease sciatic nerve block. General consideration. In this approach of gluteal crease sciatic nerve block, the sciatic nerve is easy to block like popliteal as it lies superficial near to the skin around 2 to 4 cm deep at gluteal crease and can be imaged even with linear probe. The objective of this presentation are to discuss number one relevant anatomy of the sciatic nerve, preoperative assessment and preparations, indications and contraindication of gluteal crease sciatic nerve block, complication and side effect of gluteal crease sciatic nerve block, prerequisite of gluteal crease sciatic nerve block, equipment and logistics required, ultrasound settings, making position for a sciatic nerve block. Conduct of gluteal crease, sciatic nerve block, intraoperative care, postoperative care, and clinical tips. Relevant anatomy. Sciatic nerve is the thickest nerve of the body, about 1.5 cm to 2 cm thick. Sciatic nerve arises from lumbosacral plexus in the pelvis from ventral rami of lumbar 4, lumbar 5, sacral 1, sacral 2, and sacral 3, in front of the piriformis muscle. Sciatic nerve leaves the pelvis through greater sciatic foramen. It travels down in gluteal region between ischial tuberosity and greater trochanter. Often it is slightly closer to the ischial tuberosity under the cover of gluteus maximus muscle. At lower border of piriformis muscle, it enters the posterior thigh. In its path in the thigh, it is crossed over by long head of biceps femoris muscle. The main trunk of sciatic nerve consists of two components tibial component and peroneal component. Tibial component arises from ventral division of number 4, 5, sacral 1, sacral 2, and 3. The peroneal component arises from the dorsal division of number 4, number 5, sacral 1, and sacral 2. Remember, these are the division of ventral rami. Sciatic nerve divides in tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve at approximately 6.5 cm above the popliteal crease. There is a wide variation in division of sciatic nerve that is from 5 cm to 18 cm above the popliteal crease. Rarely it divides in the gluteal area. This is the diagram showing the root value of the sciatic nerve and its terminal branches. In the yellow color we can see common peroneal nerve and in the green color we can see the ventral division. It should be noted both are the division of anterior primary rami. This is the diagram showing formation of sciatic nerve in the pelvis. In the pelvis you can see number 4, 5 is the arrow indicate and sacral 1, 2, 3 making the sciatic nerve and there is a periphers muscle in their superficial relation or posterior relation to the sciatic nerve. This is the diagram showing the sciatic nerve in the thigh. We can see clearly it runs over the four muscles very clear in the picture. These are superior gamilus, obturator internus, inferior gamilus, and quadratus femoris muscle. This is a diagram showing surface anatomy of sciatic nerve. You can see in the diagram the sciatic nerve passes between the two bony landmarks. This is greater trochanter of the femur and ischial tuberosity. The sciatic nerve is little nearer to the ischial tuberosity. Relations of the sciatic nerve. Anterior relation or deep relation of the sciatic nerve are four muscles in the gluteal region. In the pelvis at its formation the sciatic nerve is related to body of the ischium bone. In the gluteal region sciatic nerve passes behind superior gamilae, then obturator interest muscle and then inferior gamilus and then quadratus femoris muscle. All four muscles are in a row from there the sciatic nerve comes in the thigh. In the full length it is crossed only by one muscle which is adductor magnus muscle in its full length in the thigh. Posterior or superficial relations of the sciatic nerve are 
in the pelvis sciatic nerve is formed in front of piriformis muscle so the piriformis is posterior to the nerve at the start of its formation in gluteal region sciatic nerve is covered by gluteus maximus muscle only in the thigh it is crossed over by the long head of biceps femoris muscle this diagram shows anterior or deep relation of sciatic nerve we can see it comes in the posterior gluteal region from the lower border of piriformis and runs over the four muscles we can see superior gemellus obturator internus inferior gemellus and velocular and quadratus femoris these four muscles lie anterior to the sciatic nerve and we can also see the long head of biceps femoris in posterior relation in this diagram this is diagram showing sciatic nerve in gluteal region and in thigh this is clearly visible the long head of biceps femoris is cut to show the full length of sciatic nerve and its division at the apex of the popliteal fossa branches of the sciatic nerve articular branches arise from gluteal region to the hip joint muscular branches from tibial component innervate semi tendinosus muscle semi membranosus muscle long head of biceps femoris muscle adductor magnus muscle the short head of biceps femoris is supplied by the common perineal nerve sciatic nerve carries cutaneous sensation from all leg and foot except area supplied by the saphenous nerve this is a diagram showing muscular innervation of tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve common peroneal nerve is depicted in green color and the tibial nerve is depicted in orange color sciatic nerve has no cutaneous branches for the thigh it innervates skin in the lower limb leg and foot through tibial and common peroneal nerve except the area of the medial border of the leg up to the big toe preoperative assessment and preparation these preparation we do as a routine take history do physical general examination we request for labs do look for comorbids and optimize the comorbids we take consent confirm npo side marking is done in the holding area indication of gluteal crease sciatic nerve block lower limb surgery can be safely performed under sciatic block in combination with femoral nerve block surgery is performed under sciatic or in combination with femoral or analgesia for calf tourniquet we need gluteal crease sciatic nerve block popliteal sciatic will not cover it anesthesia and analgesia for posterior thigh leg and foot above and below knee amputation with femoral nerve block surgery on tibia and fibula can be performed safely calf and achilles tendon surgery can be done ankle surgery can be done easily but if the medial side is involved we need saphenous nerve block foot surgery can be done some muscular surgeries can be performed lower limb angiography can be performed with this block contraindication of gluteal crease sciatic nerve block or absolute contraindication are same as for the other regional techniques that is patient refusal inflammation or infection at the site of injection allergy to local anesthetic relative contraindication are patient on anticoagulant or with bleeding disorders if there is pre existing peripheral neuropathy the sensory block may mask compartment syndrome complications intra arterial injection can cause hemorrhage bruising hematoma and the drug is lost in the vascular compartment If the drug is injected intravenously it can cause local anesthetic system toxicity the incidence of intraneural injection is very high which is 16.3% we should take care of it there could be partial block or failed block like any other block introduction of infection it needs sterile technique and taking care of this problem allergy to local anesthetic drugs could be a complication prerequisite of ultrasound guided gluteal crease sciatic nerve block block is exhibited in an area designated for regional block all facilities of converting the patient to general anesthesia must be available a sterile technique must be used we need bright light source we need at engage working iv access we need all external monitor to be attached all resuscitation drugs must be in hand including lipid emulsion to manage local anesthesia system toxicity we need trained assistant for ultrasound guided regional anesthesia equipment and logistic required ultrasound machine with a high frequency linear probe we need sterile gel sterile probe cover and sterile gloves sterile towel 
to isolate the block area and uh, sterile cleansing solution. We need pressure measuring syringe with tubing. We need local anesthetic for puncture side analgesia. Local anesthetic volume may be 15 to 20 ml for the block. A safe dose should be calculated based on weight of the patient. A 22 gauge insulated blunt bevel echogenic needle 100 to 120 millimeter long is required. We need sedative analgesic, midazolam, fentanyl and ketamine. Facilities to convert the patient to general anesthesia must be available. Ultrasound setting. Adjustment in gain, focus, depth, etc. are made before the execution of procedure. We put ultrasound machine on control lighter side in front of our eyes. Colored Doppler can be used to avoid intravascular injection. We use in-plane technique, out of plane may be used. A 100 to 120 mm, 21 gauge or 22 gauge short bevel insulated stimulating needle is required in 70 kg person. We keep the angle of needle with uh, probe at 180 degree. We use part to obtain the best view. See the next slide. Depth setting will be 2 to 4 cm and 70 kg. Diagram showing part maneuver. A P denotes pressure and the A needs alignment, up and down movement to have a best view. Then rotation. Then T for tail, in which we get the best view. Making position for gluteal crease sciatic nerve block. There are two positions which we make usually in this block are lateral and prone position. My favorite position is prone. In lateral position, the operative side is kept uppermost with hip and knee flex. A pillow is kept under the head to relax neck muscle. A linear ultrasound probe is placed in a transverse orientation in gluteal crease. Elevate the bed up to avoid bending of the operator. Put ultrasound machine on control lateral side in front of the operator. While standing behind the patient, assures a good position for the operator to view the screen and perform the block comfortably. This is a diagram showing lateral position for gluteal crease sciatic nerve block. Operator is standing behind the patient. This is prone position for gluteal crease sciatic nerve block. This is my favorite position. This is a good position for stabilizing the probe for stabilization of the hand and the passing of needle. Conduct of gluteal crease sciatic nerve block. Sign in and site marking is done in pre-op holding area. We make lateral or prone position for this block. We do sonotomy before preparing and draping. We use sterile preparation of the area and isolate area with towels. We use puncture site analgesia. We identify orientation of probe sites and apply gel on the probe. We put linear ultrasound probe transversely at gluteal crease. 2 to 4 cm depth is enough. Shatic nerve is superficial at this level. We identify biceps femoris muscle and adductor longus muscle. We identify over or flattened hyperechoic shatic nerve in facial plane between adductor magnus and biceps femoris muscle. We optimize imaging, adjusting, depth, gain and frequency setting. An in-plane approach is usually used from lateral to medial, out of plane may be used. We use hydrodissection to open interfacial plane between lung, head of biceps femoris muscle and adductor longus muscle. We inject total volume of 15 to 20 ml in 5 ml helicots. Every helicot should be followed by aspiration to avoid intravascular injection. We avoid internal injection by following maneuvers. Number 1. We observe spread of local anesthetic at the time of injection to see whether it is in the right place and it is coming. If we don't find the local anesthetic solution at the tip of needle, that means we are in a vessel, maybe artery or vein. We don't inject when there is a pain on injection. Pain on injection is a sure sign for intraneural injection. And another precaution when we are giving one to two drops initially, first injection is one to two drops and that causes severe pain and we stop. Then we don't inject when there is a resistant injection. We use nerve stimulator at lowest possible current to ascertain the placement of the needle. We don't direct needle to the center of the sciatic nerve. We use interfacial plane to reach the nerve by hydrodissection. This is a diagram showing sciatic nerve under cover of long head of biceps femoris muscle, semi tendinosus muscle, and adductor longus muscle can be seen. We move the needle from lateral to medial in the interfacial plane. Extra operative care. We brief all details of the block to the patient before starting procedure. 
we apply full standard monitoring as for general anesthesia throughout the procedure. We avoid hypothermia and use full body bear hugger. We test motor and sensory blocks before tourniquet and incision. We isolate the lymph by full screen. Pseudoanalgesia can be given, but better after confirmation of the block. Pseudoanalgesia can mask signs of local anesthetic systemic toxicity. Monitor for local anesthetic systemic toxicity and we keep in hand lipid emulsion in OR and in, in recovery also. Alternately, maintain close communication with the patient for monitoring the local anesthetic systemic toxicity. In case of inadequate block, get ready to convert the patient to general anesthesia. Post-operative care. After completing procedure, gently transfer the patient to post-anesthesia care unit. We apply all standard monitors. We monitor the patient for local anesthetic system toxicity. We inform patient about the approximate time of return of sensation. And we prescribe oral analgesic in advance before the block wears off. Early mobility is possible. Early resumption of food drink is allowed. Early pain-free physiotherapy can be done. We exchange cell phone contact with the patient to assist any case of problem or queries. Required documentation or we document the side of the leg, right or left lower limb, or we document the site of the nerve block out of five, which nerve block we are doing. We also document the positioning of the patient. We also document in plane or out of plane technique, needle size and type, local anesthetic name, volume and concentration use. We also document ease of injection, pain on injection, and negative aspiration. Uh, clinical tips. Sonotomy is necessary before practical conduct of the block to assess any variation in anatomy. Usually, operator stands behind the patient and ultrasound machine is kept on opposite side of the operator. We use linear probe as sciatic nerve is very superficial. In plane, technique is usually used, out of plane may be used. Uh, sciatic nerve is the thickest nerve of the body. Onset time can take 30 to 45 minutes and the patient may not demonstrate a profound motor block. And we have to give this time. Always give support to the probe hand and needle hand. We advance needle only when full needle is visible with bevel cut. We use hydro dissection in facial plane to reach sciatic nerve. We don't direct needle to the center of the sciatic nerve even in out of plane technique. Color Doppler should be used to identify the vessels. Clinical tips. Avoid intravascular injection by aspiration each time we inject. We avoid internal injection by pain on injection and when there's high pressure more than 15 PSI in the syringe. Incidence of internal injection is very high. We should take care of it. Always observe local anesthetic solution visible on injection in required area. We use nerve stimulator at 0.1 milliampere and 0.1 millisecond to exclude intraneural injection. Thanks.